To boost regulator competence in the midst of EU's anti-fraud activities, Ripple and Super How have joined forces on the Axiology project to test crypto and CBDCs. Ripple, by the way, is on Fortune's 2023 list of the top 100 companies and has been acknowledged as a great place to work by millennials. Even in the face of opposition from the SEC, the SBI CEO has praised XRP among the Japanese society. Finally, a crypto license in the UK and Ireland would be ideal for digital currencies like XRP. If you want to know more, you'll have to read on until the end. If this is something that interests you, you should start watching his new videos right away. Welcome to our channel, where we discuss recent developments involving XRP and the cryptocurrency industry at large. We'd like to extend a warm welcome to everybody who is checking out one of our videos for the first time. Prominent XRP influencer Crypto Airy took to Twitter to share the news that Ripple and Super How, a private blockchain technology research lab based in the UK, had joined forces in an ambitious endeavor called the Axiology Project. The mission of this program is, according to the official statement, to issue and conduct experiments with Bitcoin central bank digital currencies, CBDCs, and stable coins so that regulators can have full faith in their security. Axiology's tokenized trading and settlement system is the project's backbone. According to the study, the design promotes synergies, process efficiencies, and new business models by allowing different parts of the current capital market system to cohabit within a single technology layer. According to Dr. Mario, CEO of Axiology, innovative infrastructures are needed immediately, and he has voiced his support for the European Union's regulatory framework in retail capital markets and the crypto economy. According to the comments of the media, we wholeheartedly agree with the EU's new course and want to actively participate in it. Axiology, which runs on the XRP Ledger XRP blockchain technology, is a great example of the practical use of tokenization and digital assets in the real world. Ripple's Vice President of Central Bank Engagements, James Wallace, on the other hand, is very excited to work with both Super High and the Axiology Decentralized Securities Initiative. He emphasizes Ripple's dedication to developing real use cases for CBDCs, noting the project's mission to establish a regulatory compliant infrastructure inside the purview of the European Union's DLT pilot regime regulation. Wallace observed that the research would provide valuable lessons for the development of future CBDC that may be issued by European banks. Don't miss out on being the first to know what's going on with XRP, subscribe to our channel and enable push notifications now. Among the top 100 workplaces for millennials in 2023, Fortune has highlighted Ripple, a cross-border payment service and provider of crypto solutions based in San Francisco. After hearing the news, Ripple members flocked to Twitter to share their elation and gratitude. We are humbled to be included on Fortune's list of the 100 top jobs for millennials in 2023, as stated in the tweet. I appreciate the commendation. On Fortune's 2023 list of the top employers for millennials, the Silicon Valley tech company led by CEO Brad Garland was ranked number 27. He collaborated with the worldwide people analytics organization Fantastic Place to work to identify the greatest workplaces for millennials in 2023, as reported by the American International Business Journal. The technique behind Fortune also included examining poll data from almost half a million American workers. According to the survey, Ripple provides a positive working environment for its employees. Note that in June 2023, Fortune named Ripple as one of the greatest Bay Area workplaces. This recognition came after testimonials from 95% of Ripple's workforce, all of whom praised the company's upbeat and productive workplace. A lot of people were confused when Fortune magazine didn't include Ripple or XRP in their list of the top 40 cryptocurrencies in April 2023. This new award follows the company's 2020 triumph in a lengthy dispute brought against it by the US SEC. In addition to being featured in Fortune, Ripple has been featured in over 4,000 commercial banks across the United States. A judge has ruled that XRP does not qualify as a security. Even more so, Yoshitaka Katao, CEO of SBI Holdings Incorporated, 
has highlighted Ripple's victory over the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC Cattle recently tweeted the good news to the Japanese crypto community that XRP had been found not to be a security by a U.S. court. The CEO of SBI has been a vocal advocate for Ripple in court, predicting that if the company prevails in their lawsuit, XRP will receive enormous investments as a result. According to the report Cattle published, Ripple has basically maintained that the SEC's action against it, its CEO, and its chairman is baseless and is an attempt to impose crypto regulation through intimidation and force. All during the court case. According to Ripple, the primary question was whether or whether XRP, as a digital token, could be regarded an investment contract and, thus, a security under applicable legislation. On July 13, however, the court ruled that digital XRP does not meet the definition of a security. The judgment shows there is no legal justification for the SEC's assumption that decentralized crypto tokens automatically constitute securities. In particular, the court determined that the sales of XRP on exchanges, sales by its executives, and donations to developers, charities, and workers do not constitute securities. According to Ripple, this judgment is a huge deal for the company and the whole US cryptocurrency market because it is the first victory of the industry over the SEC, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinhouse was overjoyed by the court's judgment, calling it a historic moment for the company and the cryptocurrency sector at large. According to Garlinhouse, Ripple had always defended lawful behavior, believing that they were on the right side of history and the law. Similarly, Stuart LDRD, chief legal officer of Ripple, stated that the ruling has significant consequences for the regulation of digital tokens in the USA. So, today's burning question, would a crypto license in the UK and Ireland be ideal for XRP? Don't miss out on being the first to know what's going on with XRP, subscribe to our channel and enable push notifications now. The UK and Europe managing director of Ripple has recently relocated. In an exclusive interview, Cindy Young stated that the company has recently sought to become regulated as both a payment institution in Ireland and a firm dealing in crypto assets by the UK's Financial Conduct Authority. Yoon believes that the company's recent legal victory against the US Securities and Exchange Commission will fuel additional expansion in the US, thus he made this strategic move. You may recall that in November of last year, News emerged that Ripple had released a policy statement designed to aid the United Kingdom in complying with crypto legislation. The 2022 paper detailing Ripple's work with the UK government on cryptocurrency adoption was also been made public. Yoon stressed that growth plans for Ripples in the UK and Europe are unaffected by regulatory changes in the US. Our decision to continue employing in the UK has not been reversed. She observed that our growth strategy and plans have not changed. Without committing to any concrete numbers. The managing director of Ripple in the UK has revealed that they are currently recruiting for a wide variety of key positions across the UK and Europe. Meanwhile, Young stated that despite continued regulatory obstacles, the United States is still home to Ripple's global hub. However, the majority of the firms Growth during the previous two years has been in international markets. She was optimistic that things in the United States will soon begin to improve dramatically. Yoon reaffirmed Ripple's global presence, noting the company's 15 international offices, and underlined the strategic nature of Ripple's investments prior to the SEC action. Notably, Ripple provides cutting-edge crypto solutions to more over 50 regions, including APAC and EMEA. Yoon has highlighted her disapproval of regulation by enforcement in light of the SEC's recent crackdown on crypto businesses, calling it an ineffective and discouraging method of encouraging innovation and luring investment. This video has reached its conclusion, please leave a like if you found it entertaining. Don't forget to sign up and pay the notification fee. See you later, bye.